Konnichiwa! Hi Today we're discovering Kobe. And this is our first time spending a full day in Kobe. Mm. I'm so excited to find some goodies here. Yes, is Kobe more than just their beef? Let's find out together. Ooh. Is it, is Let's it go. Kobe? <laughs> Keeping it real old school with the tourist map. What does you are gagging this? I'm getting these two stickers. We're gonna grab some Kobe pudding. Let's try it out. Oh. So we have no itinerary today. If something looks good, we're gonna check it out. If something looks tasty, we're gonna eat it. Let's explore. Pizza bun time, finally! My pizza bun. The first one since we've arrived in Japan. My one true love. Go for it, there's only one left too. Enjoy. For those that don't know, this pizza bun is the best thing in the world. Ooh. Not super cheesy. <laughs> Cheers. Oh. Cheesy. This is what it's all about. Pizza I bun, pizza bun, pizza, I pizza, pizza so bun. We're at Kobe's Chinatown. It's our first time here. Yes, we're gonna check out their food stores, their Chinese goodies. Let's go. Let's turn into a dumpling. Dumpling. Chafan, chafan, chafan. So this will be the second Chinatown we visited in Japan. The first one is Yokohama. However, this is not as big mm -hmm. or as great, but it still has a lot of things. Decently sized. Yeah. I am hungry. Let's eat. Let's get some dumplings. So the first spot we're eating at in Chinatown is right here. They sell Xiaolongbao, 600 yen for six or a thousand yen for 10. Let's go. Arigatogamasu. Whoa. Let's try it out. Always have to eat dumplings at any Chinatown. This looks amazing. Wow, fantastic. Oh yeah, look at those six plump dumplings. So they seem like big, fat, juicy dumplings. I thought they were Xiaolong Bao's, but it was just someone else eating from a different stall. Let's try it out. Oh, not bad. Pork fatty, nice amount of dough. It's not bad, but it's not fantastic either. Mm. <laughs> Here's one I dissected for Delena. No pork inside. Dumpling skin is very important, so I'm gonna see how good this one is. Yes. Mm. Yeah. No. It tastes like it's a bit undercooked. Yeah, it's not fantastic. Not the greatest. Those dumplings were okay. The outer layer way too thick and inside a little bit too salty. It's maybe because there's not enough Chinese people here in Japan right now. So they don't know good dumplings. <laughs> we're now trying some fried Xiaolong Po at Yunyun. Kind of reminds me of the restaurant at Yokohama. Let's see if it's any better. So they sell noodles and a whole bunch of other foods, but we're here for these fried bad boys. 800 yen for six. Or three for 400, if you're a weakling. I love how the line rotates around the kitchen. So you get to see them make it, fold them, <laughs> place it into that hot boiling oil, and then serve it to you. So cool, a lot of fun.
Let's try out Union Shalong Po now. These dumplings are a little bit smaller. Wow, you got a little garnish on top, pork meat inside. Very excited to try it out. Should I just one bite it? Maybe not. It might, it might pop. Yeah. yeah I gotta be careful. I might need a bib for this. <laughs> Thank God, I did not one bite that because that was blazing hot. That just squirted everywhere. Now look at that. Very juicy, oily, and so much flavor. Mm. Very nice. Lightly crispy, which is what I like. It's smaller, however, bite size is really good because it's like a takoyaki. Not as good as Yokohama, but still very close. I like it. I'm scared though. <laughs> Be careful, watch out, watch out. Distance, distance. <laughs> Give it a go, babe. It's quite tasty, and I'm sure you'll really like it. I'm the dumpling skin tester. <laughs> Taste tester. <laughs> Look at the little hole with some soup in it. Thanks, nice. baby. Nice. Easy, I got you. Cheers. Enjoy. I mean, the soup's really nice, and it's very crispy on the outside. Yeah, the skin is cooked really well. Lightly crispy. Delicious. A little bit of that sauce, putting it right inside. Perfect. Oh. So good, she replaces the meat with sauce. I feel like this restaurant is probably the best at Kobe Chinatown. A massive line and the food is very promising. Mm. Better? Better with the sauce? Mm. Wow. Just real quickly, let's try one with the sauce. One bite up. Mm. Mm. All right, we're going to grab some Shalong Bao, six pieces for 450 yen. Let's go. It's time to try out the Shalong Bao. Look at it. Nice little sticky soup inside. How is the Shalong Bao in Chinatown, Japan? Let's find out. In Chinatown, Kobe. As a Chinaman, Kobe Chinatown has impressed me. It's decent. Ni hao ma. Delicious. It's definitely more affordable than Australia. Mm. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Mm. Oh, yum. That's delicious. A lot of these little shops that sell Chinese and Japanese souvenirs. Really cool and colorful. Gonna try one of these. Sesame ball. There you go, babe. We see a lot of people eating this. Let's give it a try. Cheers. Red bean inside? Let's find out. I'm not out. sure. Fried sesame on the outside. Looks like red bean inside. Mm. Ah, you can get these at Spring Bell. <laughs> Our last spot is dessert. Ooh. We're having some candied fruits. This one's the Ichigo strawberry. Look how pretty this is. It looks crazy good. It's so shiny. So shiny, so sweet looking. Wow. <laughs> oh, I think it's my first time ever trying something like this. Mm. So outside is just hard candy and inside is just a strawberry, cold strawberry. Eat it together, sweet, delicious. Give me a go. Careful, it does hurt your teeth though. Oh, sweet on the outside, juicy and sour on the inside with strawberry. I'd like to try more. They have grape, strawberry, pineapple, a whole bunch of other flavors. Maybe next time. I need to go see the dentist if I eat this too much. <laughs> and that was Chinatown at Kobe. Pretty good, pretty good. <laughs> Not as good as Yokohama, but still a fun time. If you're coming to Kobe, drop by for a little bit. Have a little snack yeah. and enjoy yourself. Lots of families and couples here. Yeah, lots of families and couples. Pretty good. Now here's the map of Chinatown. This is the main center area. Dumplings here, 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 and four separate entrances. Cool. We're now walking on Ikuta Road. A whole bunch of Kobe beef restaurants here. Now we've had Kobe beef here before at a top 10 Kobe restaurant. But today we're gonna try something a little cheaper, more mid-tier, because 
you're coming to Kobe, you gotta try the beef. Am I right? Yeah, you're good. God damn right we're getting some Kobe beef. Yeah. Gonna quickly visit this shrine at Kobe. Get some prayers in. It's beautiful. That was the Ikuta Jinja Shrine. A lot of people pray for health, also relationships. It's one of the older shrines in Japan and a lot of weddings take place here. So very, oh, I guess we'll be back. <laughs> the last time we were in Kobe, I remembered it so differently. It was livelier, a lot more busy, friends and family enjoying themselves. Now it's a lot more quiet, it's chilled. It feels like a different city. It's still nice though. Yeah. Yeah, I really like it. us up they put one right there so we just need to pick one up now drop it on the ball hopefully it whacks yeah, into hopefully that it and then we win now I just have to bounce there get it oh yeah. <laughs> this time we're just gonna drop it hack. 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 <laughs> hack. Hack. Nice. That's pretty good. That's so good. From one piece red. Yeah. We're now having Kobe beef at Kobe beef Kiyama. This was the only restaurant that was open at this time, <laughs> so we're just gonna try it out. Yeah, we're here a bit early. However, it had some decent ratings, so let's get some Kobe beef. Let's see how it Let's tastes. Let's go, babe. Let's go. Yes. Our first time in many, many years many eating Kobe years. beef. I'm so excited. Let's get it. Welcome to Kobe Kiyama, yes. nice little fancy restaurant. Definitely Classical on music. the fancier side. Yeah. I'm like 11 in this fancy restaurant. <laughs> but we're here early so there are no customers, so yeah. it's perfect for us. Yeah. And we are ordering now, babe. Yes. What did we get? This restaurant actually won the best sirloin Kobe beef award. Wow. As you can see here, number one. Yep. Oh, and their award is right here. <laughs> yeah, They're look at that. It off. This what is a on plaque. every single table. Yeah. <laughs> So we've got 120 grams, which is 12,800 yen. Mm. So definitely pricey. My wallet. But we're treating ourselves yes. because once in many, many years, yes. we're eating Kobe beef. Yeah. We're going to regret it if we, we don't get it. We got engaged, so <laughs> it's like an engagement dinner, okay? Yeah, but tomorrow's engagement dinner is at Sukiya. Yeah. <laughs> and you got today's rare part. A little less damaging. 120 grams for 8,800 yen. I'm not sure what kind of cut that is, but it's still Kobe beef, and that's all that matters. Yeah, so it comes in a set with entrees, side dishes, some soup. Awesome. And let's see how it tastes. Can't wait to try it out. I'm Come with me. Ah. Let's go. Our wallets. <laughs> So this restaurant's a little different to the one we went to in Kobe many years ago. We're not sitting in front of a chef who's preparing it. We're at a table, we've got curtains surrounding us. It's a little bit more intimate yes. and the food gets brought to us. So it should be interesting as long as the meat is good, that's all that matters. Well, why are you selling Italian? <laughs> Thank you. 
Itadakimasu. Ooh. So my entree is here. Yes. It looks very, very beautiful. It comes with Delana's set. Yeah. Pieces of thinly cut beef. Just a cold <laughs> entree dish. Nice. Beef was obviously not wagyu, but it still tastes pretty good. Nice. Mm, I like it. Yeah. Delana's next course, <laughs> the soup. This is me eating now. <laughs> Look at this cute little bread. Oh, it's hot and oh, really? so soft. Yes. Oh. It's so soft. Look at that. Wow. Oh, made some bubbling noises. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Mm, that's pretty good. It's like a beef stew. Full of flavor. Beef is okay. A bit chewy. Yeah. The beef, yeah. yeah. Listen, it was a cheap set. <laughs> it was, I can't complain. It was. The meat was expensive, however, the set that you choose, it's like 15 bucks. Yeah, I yeah. can't complain. I yeah. can't complain. It's I not mean, bad. yeah, for $15, it's pretty good. <laughs> Definitely can't complain. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't compare it to the 13,000 yen Kobe beef. Yes. Compare 13,000? 1300? 13,000. 13,000. Delana got two servings of the salad. Enjoy. <laughs> I love how the salad is the biggest serving size compared to all the other dishes. Ooh. Oh. Oh wow. Nice? Texture is pretty interesting, yeah. It's not like. Oh, once you mix it up, mm. pretty good. Well, apart from the greens, the other <laughs> things are good though. And plus, I like cherry tomatoes. What do you mean, just the noodles? <laughs> <laughs> All the entrees have been pretty good so far. Yeah. I like. But I didn't come here for the entrees. I came here for the Kobe Kobe. Mito soup in a bird's nest. I'm really tired, I've lost my mind. Well, was she? Delicious? Sexual. <laughs> mm. Oh, that's really delicious. Yep. That's a good soup. Mm. There's some fatty beef pieces in there and cabbage, a bit of mushrooms. That's delicious. This is a really good soup. I really like this. Kobe beef in Kobe. Oh my god! It is time. Wow. The sirloin steak, 120 grams. Yes. Is that an amount for an ant? I know. I was gonna be like, I can't believe this is 130 dollars. <laughs> <laughs> in Japanese yen. Yeah. In Australian, it's at least over 150 dollars. But well worth it. The first piece. Enjoy, man. Thank you. Let's go for it. <laughs> It's good. So much flavor. Wow. When you bite into it, the juices just melt into your mouth. I wouldn't say this Kobe beef is like butter though. You know how the other place we tried, it definitely melted in your mouth. Yeah, more. yeah, yeah. This one still has a bite to it. Yeah. But it's still very delicious. Don't get me wrong, it's still very delicious. The one that we went to many years ago, it was uh, way more pricey. It was yeah. almost $200 per person, but still, it, um, for the price, it must be really tasty. All right, I'm gonna compare mine to yours. This is the first one. Interesting, let's go. Mm. Oh wow, still very fatty, very delicious. Mm. Whoa. Yours is so nice, look at that marbling, so fatty. The colors, perfectly cooked, medium rare. Let's go, eat the dog nice. Mm. It's very good, very fatty, very delicious. However, mine is almost just as good. <laughs> so there's not a huge difference with a 5,000 yen price difference. This is still pretty damn amazing. 
<laughs> it's pretty much all the same. <laughs> Kobe beef, very delicious. Very grateful to be eating this a wonderful meal. Mm. Have a bit. Have a piece. Thank you. This is my one. Hi. It's a sign. <laughs> we can't tell the difference. Mine's a little bit more juicier, juicy and yeah. meaty. Yeah. Whereas, Whereas yours mine's is fattier. More fattier. Yeah. But the texture and the taste is very it's quite similar. similar. Yeah. I feel like you definitely don't need to pay that extra fifty bucks for yeah. the mm. expensive sirloin. Unless you just want extra fatty, extra mm. oily. But mine, I think, especially for you, you prefer my type of style. I do. Something more juicy, yeah. meaty, and red. Whereas yours, super fatty. Yours is really good. Yeah, I really like yours. And for the price, yeah. I'd rather get that than pay extra yeah. for this. Yeah. Yeah. Just because it's more expensive doesn't mean it tastes better. Yeah. Remember yeah. that. Remember that. <laughs> All right, we're just going to enjoy. We'll see you outside, guys. It's a day. It's a dog moss. And that was Kobe Kiyama. Very delightful experience. Really like the ambience in there. Everyone was really nice. And yes. the Kobe beef, satisfying. I yeah. feel good. And what I really loved about the restaurant was that there was Kobe beef that ranged from $300 all the way down to $40. So it doesn't matter. Everybody has a chance to try out Kobe beef in Kobe. Bae, what do you think? Yeah, I really enjoyed it. I'm satisfied. I yeah. thought it was a good restaurant and mm. I would recommend. Yeah, decent. Located near the temple on the a road. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, we're trying the Ichiban Kyuji Demon Slayer at Lawson. Let's go. I'm going to win A. Delana's gonna win B or C. Tengen or Nezuko. Let's go, 680 yen each. Oh yeah, this one. Oh no, no, this one is the A. This, one. this one's A, yes. 100%, mm -hmm. good luck. You go first. A, B, C or D is good. H! Oh, That's all right, standard. You ready? Tanjiro, 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 A, A, A. Aya! God damn! Oh, we got keychains. Not bad. That's pretty good. For six dollars eighty, not bad. That's yeah. a good souvenir. It's time for the reveal, guys. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, oh! Nezuko is so good. Who's this? Who's this? Is that Tengen? Is that? Oh, it's uh? human form. <laughs> right. Not. Bad. Tengen always following you. Nezuko Not bad. You. Yeah. Decent. Goodbye, Kobe. Until next time. Kobe. 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 What a great day in Kobe. It was so nice to spend a whole entire day discovering that beautiful city. However, yes. we only covered 5% of it. I it's know. too big. I wish we had more time there, mm. but highly recommend you to visit Kobe if yes. you're ever in Osaka. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. Kobe. We love you. Kobe. Kobe. Before we end the night, we must try the Kobe pudding. Let's go. Kobe. 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 Don't really want to open this. Packaging so nice, but it's Christmas. Toraku, Kobe sweets. We get four. There's one for you. Oh, so it's obviously room temperature. It's not cold. Mm. I think I want to put mine in the fridge. Oh, so delicate. Oh, made oh. a little. It's so squishy that when you Ooh. got a spoonful, it made a fart noise. Oh, oh. Jiggle. Look at that jiggle. jiggle. Cheers. Cheers. It's a little different because it doesn't have that syrup, that dark syrup at the bottom, but. Mm. Oh, it reminds me of the Vietnamese egg dessert where you get an egg, you put it in a cup, and you just whisk it nonstop. Um, not bad. Mm. However, I do prefer the one from the kombini. Because I like that dark. Oh, you have to put the sauce on it. Oh, the pudding. We did it wrong. Do it again. <laughs> Stay protected, boys. <laughs> and girls. <laughs> oh, wow. Sensual, sensual pudding. That was baby. Oh, yeah. 
Oh yes, that's, that's what we want. Ooh. Oh, nice, smoky caramel flavor. Ready, guys? You guys have the first one. Three, two, one. Good. That's better. That's so much better. Yeah, doesn't taste like egg anymore. Yeah, I mean the pudding. <laughs> the pudding was already really good, but it just tasted like we were eating egg, but with the syrup on top. Mmm. Kobe. Kobe. I still Kobe. enjoy the kombini one better. Kobe. Kobe. Kobe.